Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my second video of the day. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to upgrade from an iOS 12 beta. Now, in this case, I am specifically addressing iOS 12.1.1 beta three, which I did just show you guys in my last video, how to downgrade from iOS 12.1.3 to the iOS 12.1.2 or iOS 12.1.1 beta three. Now, as of recording this video, iOS 12.1.2, as well as the 12.1.2 beta, is no longer being signed, and I let everyone know that down below in this video's description, but it is still possible to downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. And I also let you guys know in this video as well that if you guys wanted to use blobs, you definitely wanted to downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. All right, so if you have absolutely no idea what blobs are, or if you want a longer version of this tutorial, definitely check out this video right here. This goes a lot more in depth about what we're doing in today's video. In this quick video, I'm just gonna brush through quite a bit of stuff. And if you have absolutely no idea what blobs are and just wanna start out from scratch, definitely start with this video explaining what SH, SH2 blobs are and how to save them and what they're used for and things like that. All right, so all of that's done. Just as a quick recap, in this video, you're definitely gonna need your blobs downloaded onto your computer for your device. You're going to need Future Restore for either Mac or Windows. You're going to need Yuming's experimental nonce reboot application for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. And of course, you're going to need the IPSW file of the firmware you're restoring to. In this case, we're gonna restore to the latest version of iOS 12.1.2, the official build, not the beta. Now, just to clear up a few questions and a few things that I know a bunch of people are probably gonna ask, is it possible to downgrade from iOS 12.1.3 to 12.1.2 with blobs? And the answer is most likely no. You cannot go directly from 12.1.3 to 12.1.2. But a workaround that you can do is you can download from iOS 12.1.3 to the iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 officially through iTunes, and then we can use Future Restore to go from the 12.1.1 beta 3 to the official build of iOS 12.1.2. So so here on my desktop, I have the nonce reboot application. You're also going to need to sideload that onto your guys's iPhone. So I have it right here um, and it's all pulled up and everything ready to go. So definitely check out the last video if you don't know how to sideload that with City Impactor. Um, but now that it's sideloaded on my phone, we no longer need that application. The only thing we need are our IPSW file for the firmware that we're actually restoring to, in this case, 12.1.2. We, of course, need our blobs, and we need future restore. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of these just into a new folder and name this restore 12.12, so 12.1.2. Doesn't really matter what you name it, and this is kind of just optional, but I just like to keep things organized. Okay, so let's go into our blobs folder, and we're gonna restore to 12.1.2 right here. We can go into no AP nonce, and then if you guys notice, there will actually be two blobs for 12.1.2. That is because there are two versions. We have the 16C04 build number, and then we have the 16C101 build number. I'm restoring to, again, the latest version of 12.1.2 being the 16C104. So that is the blob I'm gonna go grab is uh, the 16C104. So I'm just gonna copy that and then paste that back into here and we can get rid of all the other blobs. We just need this one. I'm gonna rename it blob.shsh2 to keep things very simple. Again, this is 12.1.2, so I'm just gonna go 12.12 IPSW file to keep everything super simple and super neat. So now is the time where we're going to set our generator. And again, this application right here only works on iOS 12 to 12.1.2, and beta support is hit and miss. It does work on the 12.1.1, beta three, which I showed you guys how to downgrade to in the last video, but for whatever reason, like I clarified in that video, it does not work on the iOS 12.1.2 beta. So in this video, I'm on 12.1.1 beta three. We need to enter our generator where we get that is in our blob. We can just go ahead and open that with text edit. Um, go command F and search for generator, not gender, generator. 
And this right here is our generator. That is an interesting generator. Nonetheless, that is what it is. Um, so that is what we're going to enter right here on our iPhone. So on my device, I just went ahead and sent it to myself via iMessage. I'm just going to copy that and then go and paste it in where my generator is. And then we can just click return and it says success. The generator has been set. We can go ahead and exit out of that. The only other thing we need to do on device is to go into our iCloud settings and ensure find my iPhone is disabled. So with all that set up, we are good to go to perform the restore process. So we can go ahead and open up terminal. Let me just blow this up so you guys can see exactly what is going on. We're going to drag future restore into the terminal window, type in negative T space. This is where our blobs come into play. This is our AP ticket. And then we can go minus minus latest minus base band space minus minus latest minus SEP. And that is because the latest baseband and latest SEP being iOS 12.1.3 as of recording this video is fully compatible with iOS 12.1.2. Again, if you guys want to learn how to manually set your baseband files and manually set your SEP file, uh, just check out my last video. I went into depth on how to do that. But for this video, upgrading from iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, while iOS 12.1.3 is still being signed, everything is compatible. This is all we need to enter right here. We just need to drag our iOS 12.1.2 file in right at the very end. So again, the full command is the future restore, drag and drop that, negative T, and then we drag our blob, then we do latest baseband, latest SCP, and then drag the IPSW file. So with all this in place, if everything goes correctly, now we just hit enter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that prompt, but just hit enter to perform the restore. And it is entering recovery mode, so that is why the recording has stopped. So I'll just go ahead and full screen this so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Now on my device, it just looks like a normal restore is going off. Again, if you guys wanna see what it looks like on device, check out the last video I did as well. This is just a quick reminder that it is possible to technically downgrade from iOS 12.1.3 by installing the 12.1.1 beta 3 on device and then using Future Restore with the nonce reboot application with blobs to upgrade to iOS 12.1.2. And again, this is a great video for everyone on iOS 11 to 11.4.1 .1, who also wants to upgrade in the near future to an unsigned version of iOS 12. Again, I also showed in my last video how to set the generator on jailbroken devices as well. So this is just a quick reminder of what's possible with blobs. And since I was going to do this process anyway to get on an official build and get off of a beta, I just wanted to show everyone um, my process of doing this. Anyway, I'll be right back once the restore has completed. All right, well, here we are, guys. The restore has finished up to iOS 12.1.2 from the 12.1.1 beta 3. So that is just proving it is possible to technically right now still install iOS 12.1.2 so as long as you have blobs. And for those users on 12.1.3 that have yet to downgrade, I would downgrade immediately to 12.1.1 beta 3. And if you are lucky enough to have blobs, then you still will be able to use them on the beta. Again, you cannot use blobs on iOS 12.1.3 as of yet. There is not a nonce setter for 12.1.3. There is only one for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Well, here we go, guys. Let me just go into the settings app and then go to general and about. There we have it, guys, iOS 12.1.2. I'll turn my brightness down a little bit, but we have successfully restored to this firmware. And again, this is the official public build. This is not the beta. And very lastly, as of recording this video, both the public version of iOS 12.1.2 as well as the beta builds are no longer being signed. Only the beta of iOS 12.1.1 and 
Beta 3, to be specific, is still being signed. So get to that immediately. That signing window will be closing very soon. I'm shocked Apple closed the signing window for 12.1.2 Beta and not the 12.1.1 Beta 3. Who knows what's going on, but that is just the news, guys. I'm just here to report it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.